outclassed, outplayed. That was just unbelievable. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Doug Football channel. Didn't really want to make this match reaction, but I'm going to have to. Liverpool 1, Manchester City 4. Man City get their first win at Anfield since uh, May 2003. And my goodness me, that was a game on individual brilliance to goalkeeping mistakes. Uh, it's just... Honestly... I mean, first half, you know, there was n not much in it. Not much in it between the two sides. City get a penalty through um, uh, Gun uh, Raheem Sterling running at Fabinho. Fabinho brings him down. Now, that is a penalty. You, you, you have to say, it is a penalty. Um, and then uh, Gundogan. Uh, he, to be fair, Gundogan actually had a very... He had an interesting game, let's put it that way. Um, because he... Uh, he basically went up to that penalty. He did not look confident. He did not look confident at all. And, uh, you know, he managed to, you know, sky the ball over the over the crossbar. That was a really, really poor, poor, uh, poor, poor uh, penalty from uh, from Gundogan. And, and yeah, I mean, Firmino had a shot saved by Ederson. It was straight at him, really. Uh, but... Yeah, I mean, all the goals came in the second half. Um, it was it was absolutely absolutely amazing. I mean, there was as I said, there was nothing, not much between the two in the in the in the first half. But big big point in the second half where uh, Gundogan makes it one nil. Sterling runs at Trent Alexander Arnold, passes to Foden. Foden shot saved by Allison. Now I'm not blaming Allison on that one. I'm not blaming Allison on that one. Allison plays it straight to Gundogan, and to be fair, Gundogan with uh, you know skying the ball into the uh, you know the cop in the first half did very did his did his best to miss it, but uh, scored in the end, and it was a good good finish from uh, Ilkay Gundogan. And then you know City looked like the team that was definitely going to you know dominate in that game, uh, but into the. Into the 63rd minute, uh, a mistake by Ruben Diaz. Uh, Mohamed Salah goes past him. Diaz uh, has a, a hand on Salah's arm. Yes, it's soft. I could get that. It is a soft, soft penalty. Michael Oliver gives it, gives it, gives a yellow card to uh, Ruben Diaz, and then all of a sudden, Mohamed Salah steps up to score a penalty, and it was an emphatic penalty kick. It really, really was. And then into the into the second uh, into the second goal in the seventy third minute, Alison Becker. I mean, it was it was bad, 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 bad play from. I think it was Fabinho plays it straight to Alison. Alison plays it straight to um, plays it straight to. I think it was uh, Foden. He plays in uh, Jesus plays it to Gondogan, and that's two one. And then, 76th minute, Raheem Sterling scores his first goal at Anfield since leaving Liverpool as well. Um, and then again, it's an Allison mistake again. Plays it straight to Foden. Foden just plays it straight across. And Raheem Sterling has an empty net. And he heads it, heads it in. And that is 3-1. Uh, and then the fourth goal and probably the man of the match of the whole game. I know Sky gave man of the match to Phil Foden, but my goodness me. Jesus plays in Foden. Foden twists and turns into the box and uh, unleashes a, a rifled shot that went straight into the top corner. And that is 4-1. And you have to say that was a that is probably a champion's performance from Manchester City. The way they played today, they were fantastic. And, you know, I have to hold my hands up and, you know, say that well, effectively, title now is over for Liverpool. It's all now about top four. All now about top four for uh, for the for the Reds. But for Manchester City, they go ten points clear of Liverpool. They go uh, five points clear of Manchester United, and they also have a game in hand, and that is against Everton on the seventeenth. So they could potentially be ten points clear of Manchester United. Thirteen clear of uh, of Liverpool but uh, but Liverpool is back to the drawing board this is three defeats in a row for the first time since 1963 it's not very very good but what you have to say we were outclassed we were outplayed it was an absolute battering 
that Manchester City got. And, uh, you know, they hadn't won at Anfield for 18 years. My goodness me, just do that 4-1 win in the end. But congratulations, Manchester City. Congratulations to uh, Dominic Rich. Uh, They'll probably go on and win the league now. I can't see Manchester United keeping up with them. I can't see anybody else keeping up with them as well. But now Liverpool have got a week's rest before they play Leicester City. But very, very well done, Manchester City. Thoroughly, thoroughly deserved win. Um, really, really outplayed second half. There, yes, there wasn't much in the first half, but that second half performance, Manchester City thoroughly, thoroughly deserved to win. But yeah, guys, let me know what you thought about that absolute hammering that we got at Anfield. Um, yeah, at least we scored. At least we scored. So yeah, we, we weren't going to go into the 50s. So, <laughs> I think it was the 50s since we didn't score in four consecutive games, but at least that didn't happen as well. But... Yeah, congratulations Manchester City. You will probably go on and win the title now. But um, fantastic win for you guys as well. But uh, until then, it's goodbye from me. If you do like this content, please add that subscribe button. Smash a like on the video as well. And I will see you all in the next video. Yeah, back to the drawing board. And now we go on to Leicester City next Saturday lunchtime. A big, big game that one as well. But we'll see what happens. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now. You'll never walk alone. Cheers. Bye.